Hello, Jiggy Math viewers, and welcome to the fourth part of our lesson series on percents. We have learned from the previous lessons that fractions and percentages can be used to compare numbers. And a percentage represents a fraction where the denominator is 100, such as 7 out of 100, which is equivalent to 7%, and 80 over 100 is simply equal to 80%. But what if the fraction has a denominator which is not equal to 100, either less than or greater than 100? What do we do now? Let me share with you three methods on how to solve the problem. Express three-fourths as a percentage. Method one. This method we, all we need to do is to rewrite the fraction with, as 1 with a denominator of 100. And to do that, we just need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 25. So if we multiply the 2, we'll get an answer of 75. 4 out of, times 25 is equal to 100. So therefore, 3 fourths is equivalent to 75 out of 100 or simply 75%. Now let's talk about the second method. In the second method, we are going to use diagrams such as the bar model or number line. So in the bar model, you can see that our whole bar is divided into four parts or four segments. So the entire four parts is equal to 100% or the whole bar is equal to 100%. And if we want to get one part of it, all we need to do is to divide 100 by 4 and we will get 25%. Now remember, we are looking for three-fourths of the whole. So if we want to get three parts, we just need to multiply 3 times 25% and this will give us 75%. Do you notice that we got the same answer as method 1? Now, what about the third method? This method is actually called direct calculation, which is the fastest method of solving the problem. All we need to do is to multiply 3 fourths by 100%. And to do that, we will get 75%. Where did we get this 75%? If you recall how to multiply a fraction by a whole number, we can just say that we 100 is actually over 1 because 100 divided by 1 is equal to 100. So using the cancellation method, we will arrive at this answer, which is 75. That's why we got 75%. Let's try another example. Express 4 fifths as a percentage. Again, for method 1, we have to rewrite the fraction as 1 with a denominator of 100. How can we do that? The thing is, we just need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 20. So 4 times 20 will give us 80. 5 times 20 is equal to 100. Now that our fraction has a denominator of 100, it's now easy for us to express this in percent. So 4 fifths is equal to 80%. Let's see if we will get the same answer using the second method or using the diagram. Here, the whole model, the whole bar is equal to five parts or five segments. Remember, if we want to express four-fifths using a bar model, the denominator tells us how many parts the whole should be divided into. That's why we have five segments here. So the five parts is actually equal to one whole or 100%. And if we want to get one part of it, we just need to divide 100% by five. 100% divided by 5 is equal to 20%. Now, let's take a look at the question. 
we are looking for four fifths or four out of five. So four parts of it is equal to four times 20% will give us 80%. Now you, you have seen that we got the same answer as method one. Let's check out the last method, which is the fastest way of solving the problem. Four-fifths times 100%, this is equal to 80%. Do you think you can answer this on your own? Do you recognize what method is this one? Yes, this is the first method. And this one? Is the third method so the fastest one is to multiply the given question by a hundred percent so if we want to convert 11 out of 20 just multiply the fraction by 100 percent and this will give us 55 percent now this time let's do method one 11 out of 20 we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5 so that our denominator will be equal to 100. So 11 times 5 is equal to 55 over 100 or simply 55%. Now what about 1 fourth? We just need to multiply this by 100% and then we will get 25%. What about here? 1 fourth? Let's express this with the denominator of 100. We just need to multiply 4 by 25, 1 by 25, and this will give us 25 over 100 or 25%. Now, what if you can simply rewrite the fraction with the denominator of 100? So for example, 5 eighths, it's quite difficult to express or rewrite this fraction with the denominator of 100. So the answer would be dividing the numerator by the denominator. So if you will get your calculator and type in 5 divided by 8, you will, you will see 0 0.625 or 625 thousandths. Then you just need to multiply by 100 and your answer would be 62.5%. Why did we multiply this by 100? because percent means for every hundred. That's why our decimal answer here, the decimal number, may be converted into percent by simply multiplying it by a hundred. So remember to put the percent sign so that you will know that it is per hundred. Now, this last two questions are left unanswered for you to try on. Just don't forget, Take a look at the second one. This time, the denominator is more than 100. How can you make this as a fraction or how can you express this as a fraction with a denominator of 100? Think time. To sum it all up, let's recall the three methods on how to change fractions as percentages. The first method, Express the fraction as 1 with the denominator of 100. The second method is by using a diagram. And the third one is by using direct calculation. This ends our lesson series on percent. Have a good day.